Hi, loops in computer programming allow us to automate our task and execute some task multiple time. So in Python, we have a two type of loop, for loops and while loops. What for loops do is it has already predefined range and it execute that range. In while loop, we execute some task on condition base. Let's have an example of for loop. Uh, in for loop, you have a already predefined range, iterating range from, for example, 0 to 5. Then you go to pick first item and then you execute uh, from that range. Uh, execute those statements and then go back again to the range. For example, it's a 0 to 5. You are taking 0 to 5. You execute it first time 0. Then you are going to another time 1 again two again three and again four after four this execute will this for loop execution will be terminated and it the code will go out of the for loop so let's have a, a example of uh, code for example here we have a for so for loop set up as var as it iterating variable and the sequence exists in the range of zero to five so then it will print uh, five uh, zero to five range onward in the statement so we are using here range function range function is very important function in uh, python for using for for loop but it do it to start from one number until end of the range function for example we want to iterate 0 to 5 so we will write like this but if we want to iterate 5 to 10 we can also use Five, uh, first item as a 5 and the end limit as a 10 and we can also iterate with multiple hops for example here in this case by default it is iterating with one sequence 0 1 2 3 4 5 if we give another step for example 0 5 comma 2 so it will execute 0 and then it will execute after two items so let's have an example so let's type uh, our code what we saw in slides for var in range then we will give the range limit and then we have to do colon and then in sequence we will print var so if we print var and execute this code what it will do it will start from 0 and go until 4 so for example it is similar code we don't need to define the 0 when we are starting uh, when we are iterating from 0 to 5 it will execute the same code it will give the same op input but for example if we want to start our code from 2 uh, initial range is 2 so what it will do it will go to 3 4 but if we want to uh, go for the 100 it will go till 100 range but we what we want instead of one step 2 3 4 5 we want to give another step that is called three step uh, so it will go to then it will skip 3 it will skip 4 and it will execute the uh, third item that is five in our range and if you want to go multiple or whatever even you can go for the minus for example you have here you want to start from 100 and you want to go until 50 and you want to give minus 10 uh, steps down so what it will do it will go 100 90 80 70 60 for loop using sequential data type so we can use sequential data type like strings lists tuples dictionary in for loop so let's look in this example we have one variable where we assign some string that is hello and then what we are going to do is we have one variable letter and we are taking ele every element of string into the letter and then printing on so what it is going to print it will print first h then it will print print e then it will print l l and then o let's execute this code so uh, I will type the same code here you can also type same code instead of hello I'm printing something else so for letter in and then war and then colon as uh, and then print that letter uh, here we are using Python 3 so be careful about parentheses so what is printing it is printing H E L L O Let's have another example of uh, another uh, data type. For example, we want to do uh, same code, but at this moment we want to make some list. For example, we want variable that is a list, and in this list we want to save some string, for example, hello, and then we want to make another element. You can assign even integer, or you can assign uh, string, whatever. Even you can assign another list inside the list. It depends on you. So here we are making just uh, two integers and two strings so now you will write your 
for example, letter, but you can also use a uh, list is reserver. You can use letter uh, in where and then colon and then print where. So what it will do, it will take each element from the list. For example, first it will take uh, hello it will print then it will go to the second index of the list that is one it will print one it will go to the third index that is world it will print world and then so on it will print two so let's execute it as i earlier said you have to be careful while you are using both python python 2 or moving from python 2 to python 3 so always this will be your error so what is happening here is if we are going to print war it is going to print four times the same list but what we have to print is we have to print every element of war so the index will go into the letter when we will try to print index so it will give us a index each element index and then it will print same like list you can use tuples you can use dictionary for for loops